This is passing from a cube to a successive cube. I would invite the students to show me how they could pass from the five cube to the six cube. They'll be adding one square to each of the three sides of the five cube. There's one, two, and three. Then to complete these three sides, they could choose the unit cubes and they would need five one time, five two times, and five three times. If you have the five bar, the students may also choose to use that as a substitution to five unit cubes. So we have five unit cubes one time, two times, and three times. Last, they'll be placing the one cube to finish off our passing from the five cube to the six cube. Once they have finished creating their six cube, I would have them write the equation. We've successfully completed our succession from the five to the six cube. So we know that to go to the six cubed, we started with the five cubed. We added the five square three times. And then we added five unit cubes three times. And then we added our one cube. So our equation would be six cubed equals five cubed plus three times five squared plus three times one cubed five times plus one cubed. 